real fast now, I got to get the biblical question from last week. And then I have an assignment. The biblical, what was the biblical question last week? When was the last time you had a real conversation with a human being? When was the last time you had a real conversation with another human being? When was the last time you had a, oh, you tell me first since you had the mic. When were the last, was the last time you had a real conversation with another human being? Last night. I knew you were going to say that. Because <laughs> you've been working on this. Uh, you're the wrong person to ask. But Why? Uh, what's a real conversation? Well, actually, it was interesting because this whole week uh, I really observed and um, made myself present during each conversation I had. And I was pretty surprised to learn that I have very few real conversations. Yeah. But in any event, the conversation I just referred to is with my husband, and it was about this. Right Spiritual on. things. Those yeah. are the only real conversations I have. Human beings are some of the boring people you ever want to see. All they want to talk about are their problems. They want to talk about what they have and don't have. They want to talk about somebody else. They want to talk about, they have nothing to say. It's boring, and you have to pretend like you're enjoying the conversation. <laughs> you have to fake the, and can't wait until it's over. When the last time you had a real conversation with another human being? The last time I was talking with my classmate and she was telling me how she's suicidal and how she wants to kill herself. And it was a real conversation for me because I was just honest with her. And I was like, well, you know, if you really just want to die, why don't you just go, you know, how, our school's right by the highway. You could do it right now. Yeah. Like, you could end it right now. And we just had a, for me, it was just an honest conversation, just filtering out the feelings of it and getting to, like, why she really wants to kill herself. So for me, that was a real conversation. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. How about you? And then I got to got to end there. Got to end. I want you to listen to the next time you have a conversation with, with the, especially people with degrees, they're the worst. <laughs> people with degrees. I was talking to a woman at the gym the other day, and I had on a shirt that she disagreed with, and I'm black. And worst thing you can do is have on a black a shirt that other people think you shouldn't have on if you're black. And she, and she would talk to my white friend at me, and he had on the, on the a same shirt, not my shirt, but supporting the same person. And uh, she said to him, "Well, I'm not surprised at you. You white." And she said to me, "I'm surprised at you. You black." I'm like, what do you mean? You black, you know how it is for the blacks. I'm like, it ain't that way for me. And then I said, you don't know what you're talking about. You dumb. <laughs> and then she said, wait, well, I have a degree. I have a PhD. And I said, yeah, that's why you dumb. <laughs> they say because you black, you got to act a certain way like everybody else, agree with everybody else, because all black people had the same pain. I didn't have those pains. And I grew up on a plat on a plantation, under the Jim Crow laws. And blah, blah, I had none of that. My folks didn't have that. My cats, my dog didn't have it. We, had, we bought land. We treated all people the way we would like to be treated. White people treated us the way that they would like to be treated. I didn't have any of that. But they tried to act like all black people were slaves. All the police are mean to all black people. Just because you black, they don't say, well, if you shut up and listen to the police, he'll just give you a ticket to send you home. But if you cuss him out, you give him hell, what do you think he's going to do? But, they just, but anyway, how did I get in that? <laughs> Go ahead. When the last time you had a real conversation with? Uh, in our counseling session. And, and also observing a real conversation here that was very eye-opening because 
I, I am Mike. I am this young man. That's my sister. That's my mother. And me seeing what they're going through, it makes me understand and love the, the, my mother and, and everybody else because of, uh, I could see the evil that yep. I had. When you forgive, yeah. you're going to have real love. God said we should honor our parents. All he means is don't be angry at them. Forgive them. Then you can love them with real love, his love, right? And, and when mama want to come stay with you once you get married, you're going to tell her, no, you can't come here. You won't feel guilty about it. If you want real love, you got to forgive. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. So listen, I have an assignment for... And all, this assignment is a one-day assignment. Oh, yeah. You won't be able to do it. <laughs> it's a one-day assignment, all right? Now, hopefully, common sense said, well, you know, that was so good. I think, I think I'm going to go for two days or three days. But I'm putting a one-day on it so we can focus on it, all right? My assignment for one day only. But you can do it more. For one day, here's the assignment. Don't judge with words. Don't judge with looks. You know how you look at somebody, you roll your eyes, or someone does something, you just kind of look at them. Don't judge with looks. Don't judge with words. Don't judge with emotions. And don't judge with thoughts. For one day only. <coughs> Don't judge with words, emotions, feel good emotions or feel bad emotions. Don't judge with words, meaning don't be yelling at the man on the freeway. Or don't be yelling at your friends or anybody. Don't use any words, no matter what they do or what they say, no words, no judgment. Don't get emotional about it. Don't get, em don't get feel good or feel bad. And don't use your body language to judge. And don't use thoughts. Ooh. <laughs> this will blow your mind if you do it. You were not created to judge your fellow man. You weren't created for that. So one day, so... So it's 1, it's 12, 50, 5, 10. It's 5 minutes to 1. So starting this day all the way until 5 minutes to 1 tomorrow, p.m. Don't, don't do that. Just don't do it at all. And I want to hear from you, Sue, what, what do you think about it? All right? Yes, you had a quick question. Okay. It's so interesting because I was just pondering the conversation with that family. <coughs> And as I was sitting here, I felt so uncomfortable. And I began to think in my mind, why don't they, why are they airing out their dirty, you know, the family business like that? And in that moment that I had that thought, I realized, and I even rolled my eyes to the ceiling. And that's one of the things that you just pointed out. The, and the Christians end up in judging. I know, but I did, I, it was interesting because I realized it in that moment yeah. and I, and I, it stopped right, right then, right yes. there. And I, yes. th I thought that was pretty, um, profound for me. So anyway, that's all. Oh, right and on. the women's forum and the biblical question. Oh, okay. The assignment. What's the assignment? I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> put a, make sure you put it on your phone reminder. Put it on your phone. So for one day only, <laughs> don't judge. Yourself or anyone. And the way, the way you avoid judging, don't use thoughts or emotions or body language or words or even looks. You know how people judge you just by looking at you. You can feel, you know they just judge you, right? Don't use any of those things for 24 hours. So that's what's the assignment? Gonna be, that's going to be hard. <laughs> that's going to be hard, huh? Yeah. That's what I want you to see, but if you do it, I don't want to tell you what you're going to get from it. I, I, want, I don't want to tell you. I want you to see it. It's going to blow your mind. So what's the assignment? Don't judge. Don't turn your <laughs> make faces your words. <laughs> words. Okay, say it again. <laughs> All right. Don't judge with words. 
Words. Looks. Looks. You know, don't get that look. Or, or, or gestures. You know, you, you, you use your body to judge somebody. Right. <laughs> or emotions or thoughts. Okay. And nobody, that means not only in this room, but your family members, the bombs on the streets, the no one, the, the presidents, the people running for whoever they vote for, there's ever been this, no one for 24 hours. All right? Amazing. And the, uh, the uh, brand new biblical question for this week. Why do you criticize yourself? Why do you criticize yourself? That's the biblical question for this week. Amazing. This was like church I ain't never had before. <laughs> I hope you were being helped. The young lady, would that, did that help a little bit, give you food for thought a little bit? I'm sorry? Yes. And, and what little bit of a way did it help? I really like the part of no judging. I, and I realize I do judge a lot. Yeah. And thinking about like not judging, I'm like, wow, we really do judge at every little thing without even thinking about it. Like, yeah. for instance, the lady over there that said when we were talking about it, she judged like it's just so common for everyone and we don't yep. even realize how common it is that we do it and when you think like we need to actually stop like because you're not conscious yeah people every human being with anger is unconscious they're living in imagination and they're, mm -hmm. not, they're not present yeah and like when you think about not judging it's so hard when it shouldn't be like that's right. so bad that was this you know, that's going to be hard just imagine that human beings are saying it's going to be hard not to judge another human yeah. being one. Right. No, you're not. If you do it to one other, you're not going to do it to yourself. You won't be able to do that either to yourself. You can't do it yourself either. You're right. That's the assignment. You're right about that. My friend from Florida, welcome back. Any questions, anything about now? Today was this helpful? Very helpful. Good. Um, I just have a question. How do you stop judging people with your eyes? Because I just look, because I don't say anything I haven't argued in over like a couple of years based off everything right. I've learned from you. Like right. it's just such a waste of time. But you use your eyes. And I stare at people and I'm with disgust. <laughs> yeah. I do. Everywhere I go, I just noticed it when you just said it now. Yeah. And I think it's like the German. People in use me. their body and judge. They're like Especially in public, if like someone's being slow yeah, in front somebody, of me. Right. Oh my gosh, I, it's so difficult. You see a bomb on the street, the first thing you say, ugh. <laughs> so be aware of it. Right. Just be aware. Of it. The awareness changes everything because the awareness is the consciousness of God. You're just not aware you're doing it. <laughs> be aware it'll change by itself. You don't have to change, it'll change by itself. All right. So. I'm out of time. The Women's Forum this Thursday, for ladies only. Every third Thursday of the month is for ladies only, first Thursday for, for guys only at 7 p.m., all right? So come on down, ladies. And uh, work on yourself. You are responsible for you and nobody else is. This is your world. You are your own world. Do you want hell in your world or you want life? You want peace. But you got to drop the anger. Forgive your mothers, they know not what they do. Forgive your fathers, they know not what they do. They've done the best they could. It wasn't right, but that's all they had. And then your world will change, all right? Uh, what else? Do the silent prayer. Rebuildingtheman.com slash prayer. So you can just be still and know God. You don't have to do all that hooping and hollering and begging and please, Lord, save me. God, watch over my children and blah, blah, blah make sure they stay alive so I can destroy them. You don't have to do that. You know, make sure you just be still and know God. Do the silent prayer. And I think that's it. Oh, thank you for your donations, right? We're trying to, we don't know, I don't know, I'm ask you all for money because I'm, I'm, it's just a little, a little like common sense say if you've been helped, give back. But we got to pay bills. We got to do all this stuff. So make sure you donate today. Check out the Hate Report, where's Nick? I mean, where's Nick? Oh, check out James' show. 
thehakereport.com, Monday through Friday, for those who don't know about it. And then the Joel Friday, he black. He black. He, wait till you hear to that black man show. What a mess. <laughs> and then the Anchor Baby, the American Anchor Baby show at 4 p.m., all right? And we're going to be, we're building this radio network, 24-hour talk for men only. So we're going to be calling, we're going to, we're going to have 24 hours of round talk. So I'm going to be calling some of you guys. I got your information. We're going to be adding two or three, something really soon, and then more and more, all right? So thank you. You got to work on you. You can't blame anyone for the way you think or feel. It's you. Forgive your parents. You're responsible for your own life. It's a spiritual battle. Amazing, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. That was deep. Amazing. Amazing.